Always use star code Aquila when buying Robux or Premium. Ooh, These are all of my social media accounts. Try, know that it's time Enjoy the video! Hi everyone, it's Aquila. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And first of all, I want to apologize for my recent inactivity on my channel. I honestly haven't really been in the mood to play Bloxburg, and I wasn't quite sure if you guys would like to see me play any other Roblox games, so I would appreciate your feedback in the comments. And with that being said, let's get started. Today, I have some big news about Bloxburg. So over in the Welcome to Bloxburg Discord server, they now have a link in the asset submission channel which takes you over to their welcome to Bloxburg utility slash report server and you can now submit assets to the developers this means you can make an asset such as a furniture piece in blender or roblox studio and you can potentially have the item that you made added into Bloxburg isn't that exciting let's take a look at some of the screenshots I collected this morning so here's what it says in the asset submissions channel. Want to submit an asset you would love to see introduced into Bloxburg? You can now submit it in our utility server. Just take a good image of your model and submit it using the instructions listed. Instructions for how to submit an asset are given in the server. Please note that additional server verification may be required. And then we have the link to join the utility server. We have another screenshot that says, in order to submit an asset or model to the developers, please private message at submit assets and direct your message towards the server. Upload one good image of your asset to the bot and the image will be manually reviewed and posted to a private channel. If your ticket was closed, that means your suggestion was uploaded to that channel. And then we have another step-by-step -step on how to submit an asset. So you DM submit assets, upload your assets to the bot's DMs as an image, give us a brief description of your submission, Click the emoji that represents our server and your asset is submitted. In the reference image below, this server is the two emoji. We also have a visual on how your picture should look if you do end up making an asset to submit. So this is really awesome. There's two chairs that were made and who knows, we could see these in Bloxburg. This could possibly mean more updates throughout the year or more items added when we get updates. And now that we know about this new feature, I'm definitely going to submit assets of my own that I made right before this video. I went into Roblox Studio and it was almost exactly like using the basic shapes in Bloxburg. So I'm gonna show you guys what I made. I've been really adamant about a toddler update and a toddler body morph for like the last year. So I decided that I would make a toddler bed because wouldn't that be cool? As I said before, we're missing that in-between stage for us role players. You can't just go from a baby to a kid. We're missing toddlers. We have the mattress, the bed frame, two pillows, and then the thing that makes it a toddler bed are the rails on the side. Of course, this bed would also be a lot smaller than the beds that we already have in Bloxburg because it would be for a toddler's body. I'm thinking like the same length of the cribs that we currently have. I think that'd be pretty cool. And then here's another picture that I took at a different angle. I also made one more thing and this probably looks familiar to you if you've been watching my channel for a while. A few months ago, I did a video when we first got the basic shapes in Bloxburg and I was still figuring out like how to use them and stuff. And I came up with the idea of having a storage bench. So as you can see, we have these like storage boxes behind me. So it'd be kind of like that at the bottom. And then at the top, you'd have a bench where you can actually sit down. Here's what it actually looks like in Bloxburg. And I think that would really come in handy for people who aren't so good with the basic shapes. I'm not the best at building in Roblox Studio, but hopefully the developers will see my concept and understand it and maybe we can see it 
in the game. I'm really happy that Coaptus and Froggy are actively listening to our suggestions and this is just going to add so much more growth to our community. And it's really nice that they're constantly interacting with us on Twitter. I know Froggy has seen a few of my YouTube videos too, which is really cool. And now we can actually submit things that we want in game. Do any of you guys plan on submitting anything? I know a few people on Twitter have already said that they have submitted a few things and I saw some pictures and everyone's doing such an amazing job. I'm not exactly sure how fast things would be added to games if they would just collectively choose maybe like five to 10 things that people have submitted and just added into the next update. Who knows what their plans are for that, but if you have any furniture ideas, please let me know because I would love to try to make more things in Roblox Studio that we can potentially submit if they turn out nicely. Or if you have any reference pictures, because I was definitely referencing pictures from Pinterest, because Pinterest is super helpful, then feel free to DM me on Twitter if you have a Twitter account. If not, just leave a comment. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please feel free to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! You, you've been hiding in the shadows way too long. You, always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong.